No, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, the great tens. Welcome to this video. We're working on your EGD pat, the civil pat, and I'm going to do two important parts in this actual lesson. Um, now, if you're in my class, you've gotten a page like this where I've already given a space on the right hand side for the title block, and I'm going to teach you through the requirements of this title block. On the rest of the page, you are going to draw to scale 1 to 100 your actual granny flat. Okay, so let's start off here on the right hand side with the title block. Now, um, if you go to uh, the about link on the How to EGD channel page, you will see a link to EGD exam papers and resources. And in that um, file for you guys in Google Classroom, of course, but for guys online, there's a download to the sun's um, symbols that is part of engineering graphics and design. You have to download. This document is quite an important document for you to use. But uh, on one of the pages, it gives a layout of the actual civil design title block and the requirements of it. So you can use this as your basis for your title block. And you're going to use your ruler when drawing it. And we're going to start at the bottom. I'm not going to do it now. You can do it so yourself with a nice solid line. You're going to have place here for the scale, which will be 1 to 100. You'll have the date of the drawing, which will be today or tomorrow, drawn by your um, uh, um, initials and checked by, just put uh, Mr. Klein. Okay. Your code reference, that is an internal number that your company can come up with, so you can come in on your own there. The project number, um, again, could be your own, and the drawing number, uh, this is your second drawing or your third drawing. All right. And then the title of this drawing, this will be the floor plan. The project title will be, for instance, a new um, granny flat for... And then you can say Mr. and Mrs. Buertes or um, whoever you'd like to. But this must say, the project title must have the words New Proposed Granny Flat 4 and then the name of the client. Okay, so the new proposed is the key there. Or new uh, proposed affordable housing for the Kogel municipality or whatever your name is there. Project architect, that will be your name and surname. Um architect engineer planner this can also be the company the company name um, whatever architect firm you're representing the date that this was printed you can that can be fictitious again and copyright stamp can be also fictitious and then any revisions that you're going to make to that drawing so the actual revision um, was it done yes or no the date of that revision and the description of the revision Okay, and we always start from the bottom up because we never know how many revisions there is. If there's going to be three revisions, if I if I started here and I only had two lines, I was limited with only two revisions that I could make. But because you start from the bottom, there's still space left. And then you end on the top with a place for the client signature and your signature. Okay, and then any notes that you might have will be on top of that. A note could be something like con contractors must verify all dimensions and levels on site before commencing work or architects to be notified immediately of any description sees. or you can see a note um, uh, face brick bricks on the outside and plaster walls on the inside or anything that you want to communicate that's difficult to be done in through drawing you can add to notes okay so this is an example of the minimum things that's required within a title block you can use this as an example to populate your own title block on this site please make sure other than the example here you only use print type font okay so you're printing you're not it's capital letters all the way through all right when we get to the actual floor plan we've done our freehand concept and we've then gone and we've uh, evaluated that concept and we've chosen one and in here we've already set some revisions that's required and so when you are then doing this drawing, you're going to have to have your floor and concept with you. And already here, you've done basic measurements. You know doorways are 800. You know here, based on my grid graph paper, we've got a one meter uh, here for our shower stalls, bathroom stalls. Whatever your layout is, 
You have to have this done before you get to this point. All right. And then you've done floor plans before, so I'm not going to take time to draw one. I'm just going to show you a complete one that was done by one of my previous learners. And so let's zoom in a little bit on this one and see what are the requirements of this. All right. If we start with it, um, and if we just look at the actual building here, you can see it's familiar to you. Proper sense windows, proper door frames, door with a door swing. If I go from the inside to the outside, there's a step. Okay. Uh, again, hatching is done correct. Sliding door is indicated correctly. When I get to my kitchen, I've got my worktops and I've got my sink. She left some space here for, let's say, a dishwasher or anything. But you could also go in and draw that dishwasher or fridge. Whichever one you have. All right. Then it's labeled kitchen and tiles or living room and tiles. She added the pantry here, bathroom access from the living room, uh, and then for your bedroom, privacy, but then into a communal a ba a bathroom that's accessible only through the bathroom. All right. So a clear floor plan that's got all the different components that uh, you require, plus the add ons here. Please make sure that you do your detailed measurements. And one note that that was on, on this one to be rectified, remember, your measurements is always on the left-hand side, always on the left-hand side of your measurement or on the top. So learn something from this example, always to the top, always to the top of the line, not below the line and not to the right of the line. All right, make, make sense? And then... The next draw you're going to do is a sectional elevation, and you've done this in grade 10. Please indicate the cutting plane on your floor plan, correctly with the arrow, A, and label it AA. You've got to do a full sectional elevation going through your external walls and the internal wall. Do you remember how we do that foundation where we just show the foundations with the compact fill and the floor levels? Né? And so that cutting plane must be indicated. You don't need to do electricity, although... If you are up for that challenge, you're welcome to add that. Okay, and then you'll have your title block here on the side other than this example. All right, but that's where you guys have to be at where I see you next time. And remember, on these measurements, there's nothing. If, if there's a wall, I need to be able to see that measurement. All these different widths need to be clearly seen. Don't, um, I, don't, I don't think it's necessary to, to do the window measurements. All right. But the actual wall measurements, that is a must. Okay. All right. So that's what I'm expecting from you guys when you hand in your actual floor plans on this page. Radio, thank you for watching. Now it's your turn.